Hello everybody, this is Stranding Amir for part two of the third trial. So part one was very interesting, you guys did very very well. Well, some of you failed, but most of you passed, so let's see how the next eleven of you get on, shall we? Okie dokie, representing Xeno for this second trial, we have got... Super Eel Carcaria. Awaken Mode on two? Interesting, he's picked this one for the third trial, so... It's clear to me that he's put all his eggs into this trial. Well, they, they got four points on the board right now, so they do need to pass this trial. Because they haven't passed one yet. Taking on the Eocark area, we got the Godwana Titan. So it'll be a very interesting match. So yeah, is he really counting on that Awaken mode to work? Oh, oh, <laughs> gets an opening crit and it shakes. Can I accidentally uh, move the thing? Ooh, but Gon wanna take response with a crit block and that's not good. Because the awaken mode's coming up. Could that, how costly is that gonna be? Oh, this is not good. Not good for Zeno. Because he won't get the hit here. He needs to hope this is a tie. Oh, it's not! The Awaken mode's wasted! And is that gonna be that for Zeno? I mean, yeah, you'll survive, but. Got it all to do now! Got a mountain to climb! Well, I didn't go to plan, did it? That's it. That's it for Zeno. No coming back from this. Unfortunately, they put all their eggs into the Eocark area and it hasn't worked. And we will not be seeing Zeno in the last 16. Right, on to our next combatant. Right then, representing the Pivar, we have got Super Anki Ceratops. So, yes, another Super Dinosaur. I think I'll wait the mode on three. I think. I'll have to double check real quick. Uh, yeah. Wait a mode on three. Let's see if they have any more, any better luck than uh, Zeno did. No, I do think the Pivar needs to pass this trial because I don't think they've succeeded in one yet. So they do need to pass. And standing in their way is the Thai Specialist Zero Pelter. One of the most dangerous dinosaurs in my squad. Anti-Ceratops strikes first. Badoosh. Good start, good start. Ooh, that's a tie. Ties only favour one animal, and it's the one on the right. Badoosh. But this is very good from Piva. They keep this up, they will get... Oh, ooh, they almost killed it. Okay, that's twice. So unless Soro Pelta gets the hit here, we're not going to see the Awaken mode. Oh, it does get the hit. A tie bomb, but, well, ties won't help it anymore. It's on, his health is too low. Right, time for some Awaken mode. This could be interesting, yeah. This could... This could be interesting. The Zoro Pelt are making a comeback. The health will be halved. Hmm. We're at an interesting crossroads here. Because if the Zoro Pelt that gets off a tie, the Ankyceratops will die. Hmm. Will we see our first draw in this trial? Oh, we might. Oh. The bombs didn't go off. <laughs> Never mind. The Pivar surviving the bomb scare to get the five points. Right then, representing Earth for this third trial, we have got a Carnotaurus. 
Anything other than success in this trial will spell the end for Ur. And if they do succeed, they will move to seven points. But at the rate the at the rate this trial is going, I'm not sure if seven points is actually gonna be enough to guarantee your last 16th place. Taking on the Carnotaur, we've got a Torvosaurus. Didn't see too much of this. Well, we didn't really see what this guy could do in part one because it didn't get a hit against the Carnotaurus man. So we'll see what happens here. We all remember the Tai 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 Ultimate Wind. Please, no more ties again. No more, no more ties this time. Carnotaurus gets the first hit. And this Carnotaurus does have fire, does have the protection of um, Dino Stuffer as well. So that fire bomb won't be too much of a threat at the minute. And this is a very good start from Earth. Things are impromising. <coughs> Can't one hit away from the KO. Ooh, but the tool gets the next hit. And remember, it's heroic type, so that paper will do more damage. Oh, no! Oh. Well, it did look promising, didn't it? But the Taurosaurus came back. And basically swept the Carnotaurus aside with two papers. And unfortunately for Ur... Not going to be enough. Not enough to get to that last 16 round. Okay, representing Dino Hunter for this third trial, we have got, well, a Carnotaurus. <laughs> now, what's interesting here is that Dino Hunter's already qualified for the last 16, but if they do pass this trial, they will guarantee themselves at least second place. Well, a second seed in. And if Mastrician fails this trial, then Dino Hunter will get top if they pass this trial. Standing in the way, we got the Torvosaurus. Well, it's already ripped one Carno a new one. Can it rip another one? A new one. <laughs> it might, it might. Although I think this Carno is heroic type, unlike uh, Urs. Oh, that's a fireball. And unlike Urs, Dino Hunters has no Dino Stuffer. That's going to do big damage. Oh, look at that! <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm all cloggy today. Oh. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> this Torvosaurus is getting a taste for it. It's getting a taste for killing Carnos. They saw what Carnotaurus Man did. And he's taking it out on other people's Carnos. So, yep, yeah, unfortunately for Dino Hunter, no points from this trial, but yeah, they're going to be in the last 16, so it's not doom and gloom. Okay, representing Witcho Falls for this third trial, we have got a Storacosaurus. Now, this Storac now Witcho Falls does need to pass this trial to get that get into that last 16. If they do pass it, they'll go up to nine points, which I think will definitely be enough. Right, we've already seen this guy. Oh, go away, you stinky poo poo! I accept your trade when I feel like it. <laughs> Someone doing a tray for Primal Carnage. What are you going to do? Ooh, that's a tie. That only favours one animal. But that will favour the left one. Ooh, a Thunder Bazooka. Boosh. Not bad damage, not bad. Stratosaurus, very balanced stats. In fact, like... Pretty much 90% are lightning dinosaurs, very balanced. There's only a few that have absurdly high crits. Well, that's the two points secured, but two points ain't gonna cut it. They need the five. Oh, there's a tie bomb. Soropelter gets the next hit. As long as Soropelter stays above red health, ties will be a problem. That's a big problem. That's a crit. Ah, oh, don't go, Stracosaurus. 
and that will be it for Witcho Foz in my tournament because they will not get into the last 16. And all of all of a sudden now, that guy gets not getting the free zero when it was on. Very, very costly. Right then, representing Tyrant King for this third trial, we have got a black T-Rex. First time we've seen a black T-Rex in my tour in this tournament. We'll see how it fares. It's definitely got the power. But can it get the hits? And taking it on, you all know who it is, it's the little sauropod to have gone on a titan. This will be an interesting one. Tyrant King does need at least two points from this trial to get to the seven mark. They did pass the first trial, didn't get anything from trial two, so they do need to get two points here. And if they pass, then that will pretty much assure them a place in the last 16. This is not a good start though. The God wanna Titan get early hits on the board. Look at it, it's so tiny. Look at it, it's, it's I love it. I absolutely love it. Ooh, interesting. Don't wanna get hit here. Oh the black T-Rex is going down! Well it'll definitely go down because of the crit block. Well, um, that sucked, didn't it? And unfortunately for Tyrant King, they're not going to get to that last 16. Oof. Well, this trial's been really brutal so far, you guys. Okay, representing Adirax for this third trial, we have got an Isosaurus. Adi needs to get, he needs to pass this trial here, and if she does, she'll move up to seven points. Which, well, may or may, or may not be enough. Because there's a lot of people on seven points. Taking on the Isosaurus, we got the counter type powerhouse, the Pachyrhinosaurus. And well, we've seen this thing shred other water dinosaurs in this trial. And well, I'm not sounding biased, but I really want to see a like a full counter effect lightning spear get activated. Because I think it could one shot someone. Maybe not Isosaurus, because it is super defensive. Ooh, good start. A tie bomb off the boot. Back. Oh, the tie. The tie bomb gonna blow up. Well, that's half of pa Pachyrhinosaurus' health gone, but half ain't gonna cut it. That's not good. That's not good. At least the tie is going to save the Isosaurus from severe damage, but it's still going to do a lot. Oh, look at that. That's not good. No, we can't have that. Okay, another tie, but Addy needs to get the next hit and quick. Oh, it's a lightning spear. The Isosaurus is getting skewered. And unfortunately, that's going to be all she wrote for Addy in this tournament. The two points ain't going to be enough. Okay, representing Hedy for this third trial, we've got to try Ceratops. Hedy passed the first trial, so does need at least two points from this trial to get that magic seven mark. But ideally, you want to pass this trial. To go to 10 points, which will 100% guarantee your last 16 spot. And well, we've seen this guy a few times already. It's the Sorrow Pelter. Now, interestingly, this Triceratops does have Plasma Anchor, so Heady trying to fight fire with fire again. Going for a tie, going for some ties. Ooh, but the Sorrow Pelter gets the first hit on the board. The tie bomb coming in. Ooh, but Triceratops gets a crit. Good response, that from Hedy. That'll trigger the Thunder Driver as well. Good response. 
Another hit from the trike. Will that drop Sora help with HP below half? Yes, it does. Two points secure there for Heady. Oh, the Thunder Driver. Well, this will be interesting. I think because of the type disadvantage, you'll probably do less damage. I think the Sora Pelter will survive, but not by much. No, it doesn't! And Heady passes this trial. And that will put him through to the last 16 round. Ooh, in the Alpha Arena, is that a good omen for Keontae? Might be. Speak of the Devil, representing Keontae, we have Alpha Irritate there. They've enjoyed decent success in my trial so far. Currently sitting on 9 points. And well, we've seen this guy already. So yeah, this will be an interesting one. I mean, they don't have to get anything from this trial. They're already going to be in the last 16. But if they do pass this trial, they will go up to third. So there's a little bit of incentive. Paki mm, Rhinosaurus gets the first hit. Not much damage though. Better rotate to have a go going yet. Oop, another, another tie can't seem to get a hit yet. Well, they got a hit there. But, oh wow. Oh my god. Counter Blitz as well. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, this is not going their way, is it? Nope, that'll do it. Packy Rhinosaurus proving too strong. So, unfortunately, for Keontae, they're going to get nothing from this trial. But, like I said earlier, the work was already done. Well, you know. Eh. Kind of, you know, good try, good try, but yeah. Pat your dinosaur is too strong. Okie dokie, flying in from Pandora. Weep for Navi Flyer. We have got Paris. Stone Cold Paris. Um, yeah, this is going to be difficult. Going up against the Mega Raptor. And they do need at least two points from this trial. Thankfully, they don't have to pass this trial to get the seven points. But they do need at least two, so yeah, if they can get Mega Raptor's HP down below half, then I would consider that a moral victory. Because I think that's the best they're going to do. Because we all know how powerful Mega Raptor is. And it's got Dino Illusion as well. Like, you want to see this brute? Just watch part one when it took on Ultimate Dino King and how long that took. <laughs> Before Mega Raptor eventually got a hit. So yeah, this is going to be really tough for Navi Flag. Like I said, all they need is two points here, so if they get it below half, then yeah, moral victory. Bum, bum. <laughs> he needs a crap, really. Oh dear. Wow, look at the difference. Oh my god, oh my god, Cyclone as well. I can see I can see why people didn't use a grass dinosaur for this third trial. I mean, kudos to those who did. You know, you deserve crap. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> kudos to those who did. You know, you know, I'll give I'll give you props. You went big. You went big for this third trial. Unfortunately, it just didn't work. And yeah, quick as a wink, Mega Raptor dispatches Paris. And sends Navi Flyer flying back to Pandora. Okay, representing Kaz for this third trial, we have got a Mega Raptor. This will be an interesting one. They do they do need at least two points from this trial. They passed the first trial, didn't get anything from trial two, so they do need to get something from here. And facing the Mega Raptor, we got a Torvosaurus. Well, the Torvosaurus has had a whale of a time killing Carnos in this session. Let's see how he handles a different kind of opposition. Very different. But will the outcome be the same? Slippy 
Beach, the beach lounge. Right. Good start there from the tour. Oh, another hit. Will we see Volcano Burst or Dino Illusion? No. Well, I am in shock. Okay, that's a tie. But this is not good for cars. Needs this hit. Oh, it doesn't get it. Different wind dinosaur, same outcome. Torvasaurus proving too strong. And the savage beast defeat dispatches another wind type. And unfortunately for Kaz, five points ain't going to be enough. And wow, only two people in this session passed this trial. So yeah, tr this trial has been brutal for you guys in this session. But yeah. That's it for part two, so stay tuned for part three. We will conclude this trial, and then we can get on with the last 16 round. But until then, ta-ta!